Hello, Vern Alliance. Well, it is awesome to bring you our Friday update. Now, typically, Dwayne would do this from his deck, but I get to do it today from the Rose Garden. All right. Now, in this Friday update, I want to share with you four super practical ways to stay engaged throughout the week. But before I get to those, I just want to say a sincere thank you. Thank you, Vern Alliance, for continuing to be the church, for continuing to love each other well and to love our city so well, serving and giving and practically, tangibly expressing God's love in our community. Now, friends, one of the things that I've really been encouraged by is I've had a chance to have a few conversations recently, really open, honest, transparent conversations. And there's three sort of themes that have come out in those conversations. One is this, is that there is a love for the church and specifically for the family of Vern Alliance. In all the conversations I have, that comes through, that there is a sincere love for this community, for this family we call VAC. The second thing is this, is that there's understandably so, um, disappointment and frustration that has come with the news that we will not be opening at the present moment for our weekend services. But with that disappointment, here's the third thing, is that collectively there is this anticipation and there is this excitement as to what God is leading us into. And church, at the AGM this past Wednesday, thank you for participating in that, by the way. That same um, feeling uh, and anticipation was experienced as we began to look forward into this next year to see where God is uh, taking us and leading us and the community that he is shaping us to be so that we can better love each other and better love this city for God's glory. And so I'm excited for uh, what God is doing and for the ways in which we can be open and honest about the ways that things are discouraging or disappointing, but also together anticipate and with patience and with perseverance, um, step into what God has for us next. Now, the four practical ways to stay engaged. One is this, um, on our Spotify playlist, there is something called VAC Weekends, and you can look us up on Spotify, uh, VAC underscore music. Yes, that is it, VAC underscore music. And you can look up VAC Weekends. That has our weekend worship on there, a playlist of it that you guys can participate in and uh, engage with throughout the week. Second thing is this, is that on the website, if you click on sermons, you will see up at the top of the page, subscribe to podcast. And on Apple Music and on Spotify, there is a subscribe to podcast opportunity and way in which you can download the sermon, which I think is so valuable because there's times in the busyness of our summer rhythms where we don't catch the weekend service. Or uh, I know from personal experience with having a young family, sometimes it's hard to catch everything that happens on a Sunday morning or to be engaged uh, to the level that you would like with all the kids running around. And so that's a way that we can download that, participate in that, continue to learn and be encouraged as a church um, through the sermons that uh, we are sharing on the weekends. Uh, third thing is this, discussion questions. So we are providing you guys with some discussion questions to follow up with um, in regards to the sermon. And the reason that we want to do that is because we've also been encouraging um, you as a church to meet together in community clusters, uh, to be able to gather in backyards and in patios and around the fire pits, uh, to share in the service together or to meet afterwards to discuss what you were learning um, and what was shared. And that's the fourth thing. The fourth way to engage is to simply share what God is teaching you during this time. Whether by picking up the phone, sending someone a message, I encourage you guys to be sharing with one another what God is teaching you, what he is challenging you towards, how you are applying what you've learned on the weekend service. And so those are four practical ways to engage throughout the week. We got our Spotify playlist. We got our um, podcast to download. We have the discussion questions. And I encourage you guys just to be sharing with one another um, what God is teaching you. Bless you, church. Love you so much. And let me pray with you now as we head into our weekend. Father God, thank you so much for VAC. Thank you that you have called us and equipped us uh, in your name and you have filled us with your spirit. Thank you, Father, that you have given to each one of us a gift. And I pray that in the weeks and months to come, um, that gift would be further known and that we would um, use it in increasing way to build your kingdom, um, that we would use those gifts in tandem and in partnership with those uh, around us. 
Father, I pray that during this time, even though it's challenging, that we would be held together uh, through the unity of your spirit, uh, through the bond of peace. And Father, I pray that we would know your peace and your presence for all the ways in which uh, we are challenged, for all the afflictions that we face. May we know your comfort in this present moment, even though it is hard. And may we continue to be encouraged toward the hope um, that we anticipate and that we have been called towards. In this way, Father, we uh, trust um, your church to you. Thank you so much for caring for your bride, for loving it so well, uh, and for so tenderly caring for us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.